Hello, um, I thought I would come on and talk to you, come on, come on. Anyway, and talk to you a little bit about the Corningware um, percolator recall that I have mentioned briefly in some of the other videos that I've done because I pick these up occasionally. And um, I wanted to show you how to differentiate between which ones are recalled and which ones are not. Um, I'm just peeking about these particular um, percolators. Um, they do come in various shapes and sizes. Um, and it does relate to any of the percolators that have this silver band or chrome stainless steel band. Um, and it can be the stovetop model, which is the one you heat up on your stove, or the electric model. Um, they're both of those were recalled. So let me give you a little history. Um, in 1974, the Corningware company was made aware that um, there were some injuries and, and complaints associated with their coffee pots. So, um, in 1976, 76 trombones, sorry, uh, in 1976, they decided to recall these uh, percolators. Um, there were 7,000 complaints, there were 1,250 injuries, burn injuries, and um, so they decided they were going to do this nationwide recall. And they recalled. Um, there were actually two recalls. They recalled about 400,000 percolators. Um, and the issue was there is an epoxy that um, attaches this metal band to this pyro ceram um, base or, or carafe. Um, this does look like metal with enamel over it. It is not. It is like Pyrex with ceramic over it. So. Um, what, it, what, what was happening is that through the heating and cooling and heating and cooling um, process, the epoxy was letting go and the coffee pot would fall off. And even if the coffee carafe did not break, it would still slosh hot coffee on you, causing burns. So that was the issue. So um, I wanted to show you uh, how to tell if yours is part of the recall or not. And um, given the fact that eBay uh, bot, you know, the eBay bots will target these listings and remove them as a recalled product, et cetera, et cetera, um, I'm going to talk to you about ways you can get rid of these or, or sell these. And keep in mind that um, if it is a recalled pot, you should not sell it as a usable uh, coffee pot. One of these is a recall, one of them is not. So, um, they recalled these pots and they redesigned them and what they did on the recalled pots was, and then I'll have to show you a still shot of this, um, is they etched a number right here on the collar and it's really tiny, it's very faint, but I can see it still on this, you know, 40 year old pot. And um, if it has that number etched on it, it is not a recalled pot, it was never a recalled pot, it's never gonna be, well, I won't say never gonna be, but this is not one of the pots affected by the recall. Um, one of the things you'll want to look at is the model number. Um, to identify if it was even part of the recall. Most of these pots with um, with the collar are, this one is a P, P80EP. Um, so, I will show you a, a still shot of that collar right here. All right. So, um, how do you know if you've got a, an electric or a stovetop? Pretty easy. Um, these are both electric and they have the place for the plug right here. 
Um, yeah. I found a blog post that's from 2005 that was, um, that was written by an actual, by an eBay seller and also a collector of ceramic, um, Corningware coffee pots. And he actually put a lot of this information on that blog post. So I am going to link that below so that um, you can bookmark it. If you're someone that buys these for resale, you can bookmark that and uh, refer to it as, as you would need to. Um, also, as far as getting rid of these, the, the cornflower blue, I am not going to sell. I probably will sell the lid and the basket because those things are not um, affected by the recall and possibly the heating element. But I am not gonna sell the actual pot because this is part of the recall. And the um, other one that I have that honestly I have not found this pattern anywhere it's kind of this green mandala floral kind of thing. Um, I'm going to join a, um, e not an eBay, no, no, no. I'm going to join a Facebook Corningware collectors group and see if anyone would be interested in buying this one because uh, I think it's probably a more rare pattern. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, I don't want to make this video very long because I've already rambled enough. Um, but anyway, I uh, will link that blog post below, and it does have this document on it that shows you all of the model numbers that are affected, whether they are um, stovetop or electric, and it should clarify a great deal. It's a good blog post. Um, clarify a great deal um, as to whether or not you got a recalled uh, pot. There you go. That's all it is. Just wanted to share that information with you that I found. Take care and thanks for being here. Bye-bye.